I love GoPro action cameras. I wanted to love GoPro's Day Tripper backpack. So let's do a review about the Day Tripper. Thanks for joining me. This is my review of the GoPro Day Tripper backpack. If you subscribe to my channel or if you've seen any of my other previous videos, then you know that I'm a big fan of the GoPro product. I have a GoPro 7, I have a GoPro Hero 10 Black, and those cameras have become the foundation of my channel, at least as I get started. I use GoPro accessories extensively. So bottom line, I'm a big fan of GoPro. So as I got ready for my recent trip to Mexico, I wanted to have a backpack so that I could have everything that I needed in it. I wanted something that was well built and always ready to go. While traveling in Mexico, I took the GoPro backpack on several different outings to different locations and really put it through its paces. I've also traveled quite a bit here on the West Coast and used it several times both in airplanes and getting in and out of Ubers and rental cars and have tested it out very thoroughly for the past two months. So at this stage, I feel I'm pretty qualified to give a competent review on the GoPro Day Tripper backpack. So just to give you a preliminary review of the backpack and its design, the GoPro Day Tripper is a 15 liter backpack that's designed for day trips, for day use. It really is limited in what it can carry and contain. It's built primarily out of vinyl on the exterior with a nylon mesh undercarrier. The inside has a soft lined compartment which can accommodate a 15 inch laptop it's also designed to accommodate a two liter hydration pack. You can run your hydration hosing through this section in the panel, and that way you can have efficient hydration while you're on hikes or out in the uh, countryside. On the shoulder straps, this GoPro backpack also features this camera mount, which is convenient for capturing hands-free recording while you're hiking or out and about. The exterior is vinyl coated, so it's weather resistant. It is definitely not weatherproof. And the zippers close and in a way that is largely weather resistant as well. The dimensions of this backpack are 19.1 inches by 10.6 inches. And again, it's a 15 liter backpack. For $99, I decided to invest in the GoPro Day Tripper backpack because I thought that GoPro would have probably had the best design features to accommodate its specific equipment and gear. And overall, it's okay. We'll get into the specifics of that here a little bit later when we get into the details. So after over two months of use, I think I'm ready to give a recommendation one way or the other, but you're gonna have to stick around to find out whether I recommend this or not. So I've given you the overview. Now let's get this thing packed out with all of the things that I carry currently and then I'll get into the criteria of how I evaluated this thing. Let's get started. And it has enough room to accommodate pretty much everything that I take. My Volta grip. Selfie stick and a floaty selfie stick. I also like to keep my external microphone there. When I'm actually using this for travel, I also like to keep my GoPro 10 media mod in this section as well. So there you have it. It's pretty much set for action. But let's set this aside for a minute. I wanna talk about five different criteria that I evaluated the GoPro Day Tripper backpack on. Those being design, accessibility, durability, comfort, and security. The Day Tripper is designed to be fairly small, narrow, sleek, easy to store underneath an airplane seat in front of you, but sufficient in size to accommodate all of your essential equipment, all of your cameras and accessories that you might need for a day trip. There might even be enough room in here for you to have a light jacket or a pullover, but not much more. 
We talked about the laptop storage section. Uh, what I found is because the straps come down over and in front of the laptop storage section, accessing your laptop is just a little bit of a hassle. You do have to peel those back to get access to the zipper, to get access to the compartment. That's a design feature that I don't love. And I'll, although most of the exterior is vinyl, although it's water resistant, it is not waterproof. And so this is not something that is going to stand up well and protect your expensive electronic items, particularly your laptop, if you're caught in a pretty substantial rainstorm. All of the zippers seem to work very well and they appear to give a pretty good weather resistant seal. However, on the side, the zipper track extends below the nylon uh, drink bottle storage section on the side. And so getting down and getting access to your zipper can be an issue. That's a design feature that impacts uh, accessibility. So let's talk about the accessibility question. Uh, accessibility to me is an important criteria. When I am traveling, when I'm using this, it's most likely going to be on a airplane or on a bus. There are times when it might be under the seat in front of you or even in the overhead bin. If it's in the overhead storage bin, it's gonna be hard to access the things that are in it in the first place. But if it's under the seat in front of you, it's particularly difficult because it was not designed with many exterior pockets. And so there are essential things that you need while you're in flight, uh, whether it be a USB-A or a USB-C charging cable for one of your devices, or you might be trying to uh, access your ear pods or something else that you need in that moment. Pulling this out from the seat in front of you can be a, a little bit of a challenge. Um, and look, it's just a pain to have to pull it out altogether every time you want something out of it. Now, if the thing that you're looking for, if the thing that you need is in the topmost section where your cameras would go, then you'll have less difficulty. But if it's in the main storage section of the day tripper backpack, you're going to, you're going to wrestle with it. Let's talk about durability. As I said before, the bulk of the backpack is made of a vinyl material. The very bottom is nylon, and so that's more likely to hold up long-term, but it's unclear to me how much real heavy wear and tear this thing can stand up to. If this is left out in the sunlight for any length of time, exposure to direct sun is likely going to make the vinyl weak. And so if at any point any of this tears or your zipper fails, you effectively can't use the backpack. It's not, it's not going to do what it's intended to do. And that, that is keep your essential camera gear safe and get you where you need to go. Let's talk about comfort. The straps on the day tripper are adequate. I have found it to be comfortable. The padded back section, is divided. It's divided in a way that allows it to breathe so that air can pass through here. But it's comfortable primarily not because of how it's designed, but because it's so small. It can't accommodate a great deal of equipment. It can't accommodate heavy equipment. So because it's lightweight, I do think the average user would find it comfortable as designed. So finally, on the subject of security, as I said before, there could easily be two to three thousand dollars worth of very expensive equipment in your GoPro backpack. To advertise by way of the logo that you see here, um, unfortunately, there are a lot of people who would love to make your stuff their stuff. And I understand that GoPro has its branding concerns, but I have concerns around keeping my stuff my stuff and so I think that having that logo so prominently listed on the backpack is a potential problem 
I would hate to have my backpack stolen with everything in it and have to replace the equipment that I have. So my overall assessment for the GoPro backpack is a letter grade of C. I really can't recommend it. And the fact is, there are thousands of great backpacks available out there on the market. I think it's critical that each of us do a lot of research and investigation before we decide on one of these things. In this case, I'm in a long-term relationship with this backpack for as long as it stands up. Uh, I may come back at a future time and talk about how long it actually lasted me. And we'll see if I'm wrong on the durability question. I'd, I'd be happy to be wrong. Again, I'm a big fan of the GoPro product line. I really like their action cameras. Their accessories are fantastic. I just can't recommend this backpack at this point. Thank you for checking us out. I hope this information on this video has been useful to you. I hope that you'll come back and join us for our future adventures as we do other product and technology reviews. Once again, thank you for stopping by.